Meanwhile, the Fonz returns to Milwaukee early next week, but it's not Henry Winkler, the actor. It will be Henry Winkler, the children's author, and he is here supporting Sharp Literacy, Sharp's development director. Nadini Sinha is here with us once again this afternoon to talk a little bit about it. Great to see you. Thank you, Vince. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, first Sharp Literacy and what, and what your mission is uh, with youth in our area. Sure, Sharp Literacy was established 19 years ago uh, with a mission of inspiring young children to read, write, and research uh, using the visual arts as a learning tool. Uh, however, I think what what we really do is um, inspire young children to think outside the box through the various programs that we offer, be it the creation of our books or even interacting with celebrity speakers such as Henry Winkler for our novel event. Now, I want to talk to you about what he's going to be doing here in town, but let me ask you this also. What, what sort of battle do you see locally in terms of getting uh, our young children in Milwaukee and around the area uh, up to reading proficiency? You know, as it's all over the news, and the news, unfortunately, is not the greatest. Mm -hmm. Our young children have struggled to read, and, and the struggle typically starts around the third grade level. And so at Sharp, we are laser focused on helping our students really develop not just their reading skills, but a true fondness for reading. And we do this through our We Love to Learn books, which incidentally are all researched by the students themselves. Mm -hmm. So they have a real buy-in to the creation of the book, and then and uh, they love reading it with their family, with their parents as well. Actually, us, our books are in English and Spanish, so it helps that mm -hmm. they take it back to their families and are able to read together. So Henry Winkler is going to be in town. A lot of people may not know he's uh, written, what is it, about a dozen children's books? Actually, 17. Mm -hmm. in so the, more uh, than that. Yes, in the Hang the Zipser series, and, and the book deals with overcoming uh, challenges in the classroom. As you're well aware, Henry has struggled with dyslexia all his life, and uh, his books are a testament to his, uh, the challenges he has faced and how he has overcome those. I bet a lot of people would enjoy uh, being able to hear from him. Your event is uh, next week, Monday. Tell me uh, whether or not people can still come and how they can go and uh, what happens. Absolutely. Our event is next week, Monday, the 28th. Um, it's at the Fisto Hotel, where it always is. Fancy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody's welcome. And yes, we still have some limited tickets available. Uh, and you can register online at sharpliteracy.org. Uh, or call us at the office at 414-410-3200, and we will sign you right up. Well, it sounds great. Tell him to stop by if he has a moment. It's always good to see <laughs> him when he's here that. in Milwaukee. <laughs> a novel event to support Sharp Literacy in Milwaukee coming up on Monday. More information and a link to buy those tickets we were just talking about is posted on our website. It's tmj4.com.